Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to ACT Best. So, I want to show you guys a smaller version of an e bike. I'm going to unbox it real quick and show you guys what it looks like, how it is to set it up. Should be a fairly easy one. It's a folding e bike. We don't have one of these yet, but we do now. So, uh, it used to be crazy winter here, minus 11, so we got rid of that. And now it's finally bike building weather. So we're gonna get to it real quick. That way we're not taking up your time. You guys saw the process. Just get it out of the box, you get a little bit of a mess, which is okay. All this will get thrown in the box. And we got steering wheel to put on, tire to put on, and pedals to put on, and the seat to put on, and the fender, front fender and the light. That's it. So it's really, really easy, really quick. Um, if you've never set up an, an e bike before, it's not a big deal, so nothing to be scared of. Nice one, comes with a trunk, you got a rear light, you get a front light. We'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all set up. And it folds, so you can stick it in your trunk. It's got a folding mechanism. You just pull this and it'll fold in half, so really nice for, you know, regular, regular trunk or SUV. Or you could put it in your van if you're the van life type of person. And in here, you get your stuff, the important things like pedals. Oh, nice, comes undone all on its own. You get your pedals, you got this, you got that to put the wires. Man, Tyson, Tyson, when you rip one, it smells outside, dude. Whoo, jeez. If you guys, if you guys like to smell farts, you guys gotta get a Frenchie. That's what, that's what those guys give you. They'll clear out a room, a garage, and whew, the driveway too, Jesus. You smell that? Yeah. You do? Yes. <laughs> He's not even sorry, look at him. He's like, hmm, whatever, we're good. Charger. Pedals, you get a little bit of tools. Reflectors, yeah, we don't need those. We like to ride in the dark. And then uh, user manual. Here's what it looks like all assembled. And you'll get to see that in a second. And you're getting a little bit of tools too. A couple of wrenches to put on the pedals. Okay, keys to the brand new ride. Where do the key where does the key go in? Can you see the hole? Yeah. 
So the key stays in? Yeah. No, I just pulled it out. It's been cold. 73% is what it comes, I don't know if you can see it. If this can focus, 73%, you get a good bright display. It's been sitting for like two weeks, no month. <clears throat> Here's your seat. How do you turn the lights on? Let's try this. Simple. One button, electric horn, and a light in the back, Tesla style. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, yeah. I wonder what the top speed is. And they come with these. <clears throat> when you get the bike, you actually get a... $30 Amazon lucky card. You fill out five star or whatever review for them. Fill out a five star review for these guys and you get to keep $30 card, gift card from Amazon. We'll keep that. <coughs> and the light, well, it's a good thing it's dark because otherwise you wouldn't really know what's going on. We gotta shine the, oh, that thing's shining way up. Got to point it down quite a bit. There we go. Pretty bright light. It's pretty decent. Adjustable handlebars. You don't get too many adjustments with many bikes that are like mountain bike style. So these ones are pretty nice. Well, we're going to go test it. But for you guys, we're going to go ahead and test it in the daytime because you can't see anything anymore. So you'll have to pardon us for now and we'll get all this done for you in the daytime so you guys can watch it as well. The tools that it comes with, they suck. Sorry guys, but ACT, you guys need to improve the tools because none of them really fit. Nothing fits for the front wheel. Nothing fits for the, the only thing that really fit was the, I didn't even try the pedals because the front wheel did not work. This small one and whatever does not work for the fender either. So you guys need to use a 15, 16 millimeter wrench of your own, a decent one to be able to we tighten everything top. down. So what's the top speed? 20. It went like 20.6 or something like that. 20.6, guys. Top speed. It feels definitely like 750 watt. Like, it feels true to it. <clears throat> okay. So, 750 watt motor. We'll give you guys all the rest of the specs tomorrow and uh, show this to you guys in the daylight. Because, obviously, you know, it got dark. And we got something else over here, no? Okay. <clears throat> That's it. Black and white. Looks pretty. I like this one. Classical colors. Got to get rid of this thing, whatever that is. Quality certificate. Pass. Oh, I'm glad we. I'm glad we got a stamp here. Very helpful. Yep, I feel safer now altogether. Well, maybe this thing can't cut it. Can't yeah, your 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 pliers aren't. <laughs> Need some testing. Well, next day's a little better. It's a little brighter. Wanted to show you guys, it's all charged up now. We charged it. Charging port is right here. So 750 watt motor, 20 inch wheels, guys. This goes in there somehow. These are usually pain in the butt. Pain in the butt, but yeah, there it goes. In. Oh, should we show them folding it? Yeah, let's fold it. Well, first you do the handlebars, you just pull it down. Pull down handlebars, folds, that part folds down. And then right here, open it up, and it just folds in like that. This is in the way. This is in the way, pedals are in the way, keys in the way. <laughs> <laughs> fail, folding fail. 
Let's try to see where we can. Okay, a little more. There we go. Here's how you fold it. Just like that, except for you would put that steering wheel on the other side and then you folds. Because that would be the better way. Yeah. But, uh, truck run motor, 750 watts. Um, the battery on here, 550, 550 watt. 11 amp. 11 amp, so good strong battery. This needs to be tightened a little bit more. Didn't tighten that. Let's go ride it. This bike, it's not just for adults or little kids. It could be used for both. 13 year old, works just fine for them too. You guys see that? The seat can go down a little more still. And the steering wheel is actually really easily adjustable too. So there's a lot of good adjustments you can have. Easy ones. Gotta break those brakes in. They're a little squeaky at first. The seat's low. You also get a dampening seat. So when you're on the bumps, there is no suspension on the rear but you do get the dampening seat, so when you're on bumps, the seat actually goes up and down, so that's nice. 20 inch wheels, uh, what is these, three inch tires? Yeah. 20 inch wheels, three inch tires. Here's your brakes. Then you get a nice rear rack, so if you guys got a friend and you want to, you know, do like the Dumb and Dumber riding kind of thing, go all the way to Aspen, you can put a little pillow here and take a friend with you. Let's go up the hill with this. I really want to check out how good and how fast you can go. Woohoo! Oh yeah, this thing gets up and goes. Wow, I'm impressed. For a little bike, for a little bike, this thing goes. Wow, wow, wow. I'm, well, I'm, I'm at five power. You can see max speed with me on here. Seven gears, 17, 19, 20.8, 20 21. I guess if you do some pedal assist, you can go quicker, but 21 and a half for this play on here. Yeah. Problem is we got all dirt roads up by our house. So going on a dirt road is gonna get me all dirty. I don't feel like getting all dirty, but 21 and a half. Faster than me. Yeah, fast. I can only go 20, it's limited. Faster than Mark's bike. I don't know, I don't want to get dirty up there. Brand new bike's gonna get dirty? Yeah, I don't know. Let's put Mark on it, see what he thinks about it, going down the street, just on a pavement. So what are your, what are your thoughts about it? Uh, it's pretty good. It's smaller, so you can bring it basically anywhere, and it's actually pretty powerful for it being 750 watt. Easily hit 21 and a half. <laughs> it goes 21 and a half so easily, it's quick. 
right? Yeah. It's probably because it's super light. I just hit the throttle from 13 to already 20, just like that. Very fast and powerful. It's pretty good. Brakes just need a little bit of using down. But other than that, it's super powerful and fast. Soft ride? Yeah. What happened? Look what happened on a dirt road out here. So we don't want none of that happening on a brand new bike. We have, all we got to do is tighten this up just a little more, and it will be golden. The throttle on here is a twist throttle, half, half twist. So you just twist this a little bit, and it goes. Seven speed Shimano transmission, as you may call it. I don't know, I call this a great little get around bike. If you guys are into van life stuff and you want a folded bike so it's not taking up a bunch of your space, if you have very limited space on a balcony or something like that, this is a great, great way to have a nice e bike. For any size adult, this seat goes way up. I mean, this is just a quarter of how, how high the seat goes. It goes way up. It goes taller than the handlebars still. The handlebars can go up too. And the handlebars can still go up too. This is not all the way set up. So, good mid sized bike. I mean, you can't say anything wrong about it. It looks small, but it's actually really comfortable for, for an adult. No suspension on this bike. And the seat is good, nice and dampening. But the front, it's not horrible just because it's got the fat tire, fatter tire on here. It's not horrible. But you can't get full suspension and everything else for a $500 bike. There's just no way. It's good. Even without suspension, I'd say it's not bad. I mean, it's not a mountain bike. What do you expect? Five bills, guys. 500 bucks gets you a bike with no fenders and no rack in the back. But you get a bike. And then the price goes up. So I'll leave the Amazon link for you guys in the description. Then you guys can check it out for yourself and see what will actually fit best for you because you know if you don't want to spend more then what you can do is get the cheaper cheaper version without any fenders and without this right no rack is what it came with yeah it says no rack and it's going to be 4.99 4.99 with no rack no fenders but it's a hundred dollar shipping also with that. and a hundred dollar shipping with that one otherwise yeah, with the 
fenders, it's eight hundred dollars free shipping. Yeah, otherwise if you get it with the fenders, then it's eight hundred dollars and you get free freight. So you guys can decide what works best for you, what you want. Links will be all down below in the description. So check them out and also write in the comments. Let me know if you guys already have one of these or if you're getting one. I just I'm just curious, you know, if it does anybody any good. I hope it does. So Thank you guys for watching. God bless. We'll see each other next time.